Well, encounters with law enforcement can be stressful, even if you have done nothing wrong. Now, imagine what it's like if you have no idea where you are or even who you are. That's a frightening reality for a growing number of people living with Alzheimer's and other types of dementia. But a new law now in effect is meant to protect our vulnerable seniors who may find themselves lost and confused. My father, sorry. <laughs> Um, my dad was diagnosed when he was 75. Years after his passing, Angelique Suarez still fights back tears while thinking about her father's Alzheimer's diagnosis. His progression was, was very slow until about, I guess, 2020 when COVID hit and his routine stopped. He used to go to gym, he used to go to church every single day. And once his routine stopped, that's kind of when his uh, progression became vertical. She says her father, known to friends and family as Poppy, was a wanderer who would sometimes slip out of his home undetected. One time he got lost for 22 hours and the next time he got lost for 24 hours. A million things go through your mind, you know, and you just, you're so worried, sick. And the worst thing is that he had his cell phone on him both times, but he was just in such probably an altered state and so scared. That was in our house in New Jersey. This is why Angelique is an advocate today, and one of her recent legislative wins is now in effect. House Bill 801 establishes a continuing education course on Alzheimer's and other dementias for law enforcement and corrections officers across Florida to ensure officers have the resources to handle situations involving people with the disease. Studies show six in ten people living with Alzheimer's will wander at some point, a scenario we saw this past summer here in Florida. Ma'am, come on, let's go. We gotta get you out of here, we're gonna get you home. This video captured in August shows Hillsborough County Sheriff's deputies finding a missing woman with Alzheimer's in a gator-infested swamp near her home. I'm gonna pick you up. Okay, okay. 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 Angelique watched that video and says the deputies handled the situation well. I think they absolutely have to be the calming factor, making them feel comfortable, reassuring them that you are there to help. You're gonna bring them home, you're going to get them to safety. The law requires the FDLE establish this training online, developed with the help of the Department of Elder Affairs. Angelique says she's willing to be part of the training process in memory of her father. July 6th was his two-year anniversary, and um, everything I do leaves in the back of my mind, and this is for him. Angelique is hoping to work with Miami-Dade County to create a voluntary registry for people with Alzheimer's and other disabilities and disorders to help law enforcement better identify those with the disease during an encounter. In Broward, the sheriff's office tells us its deputies already received online training earlier this year focused on patients with Alzheimer's disease and dementia. We all have to learn how to be compassionate in situations like that. Absolutely, especially because of the prevalence here in Miami-Dade County. Mm -hmm. On any given day, we might come across someone who is lost and confused and needs our help. So it's important training, not just for law enforcement, but for all of us. And compassion just goes a long way. That is the big word.